Aloha, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. I don't have another Blue Planet show interview ready yet for this week's video, so instead I have some footage from my GoPro Max camera and then also a little experiment that I tried. Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment. Um, I already went out for a session today and I wanted to try same gear, same uh, conditions, everything but just sanding the, the trailing edge of this um, tail wing and I got this tail wing it's like a custom stab that I um, got and it has a really sharp edge so like if you run a piece of paper along the back here it, it's cut through the paper it's really sharp so after watching Zane's video where he got like a deep gash from the, the wing I decided I'm going to try to sand it and then I'm going to go out again and see if I can feel a difference so this is my experiment. I mean, if the foil falls on the wing, this will cut through the wing right away with that sharp edge. I'm gonna sand this a little bit. Just make it a little bit duller. And then the trailing edge too, this is really sharp. Like, I don't want this to hit my shin and cut it open. So, so I'm really curious to see if it's gonna change anything, if I can notice, if I can feel the difference. I guess I can always Make it super sharp again later if I wanted to. <laughs> All right, so now it feels a lot better. It doesn't feel as sharp and dangerous anymore, so that's good. And uh, I'm gonna try it and then let you know if I can tell the difference. All right. Okay, thank you, Daniel, for recording that. Just wanted to apologize for the poor sound quality. There's just a lot of background noise and. Uh, Daniel shot that for me on an iPhone, so it doesn't sound great. Uh, but that's Daniel I'm winging with. Uh, he's on the Armstrong wing. And I'm using an Axis foil. It's an Axis 760 front wing with an 85 mast and a short fuselage. And I really like that custom tail wing that I got from Nico. Um, this guy made, made the custom wing for me, and uh, it feels super efficient. Uh, pretty loose because it's flat. It's easy to rotate it kind of and uh, it just has that really smooth fast efficient feel to it So I didn't want to ruin it by sanding the tailing trailing edge and so I kept it pretty sharp um, Nico said he just he doesn't dull the edge. He lets the um, customer do that if they want to so uh, I finally decided I'm just gonna sand it off and see what happens if I could f feel the difference at all and I have to say, like, small differences in the tail wing are definitely noticeable. Like, a small difference in the angle of the wing or the size of the wing is, is definitely noticeable right away, even on everything else being exactly the same. But I'm happy to report that having a slightly duller edge doesn't seem to have any effect at the speeds that we're riding at and really not noticeable. I know that some kite surf racers, uh, kite foil racers, will sand their... Sh a trailing edge is super sharp just for efficiency because um, I guess that's the fastest to have a really sharp trailing edge but if you're in the water and you have your board coming back towards you and you're kind of kicking swimming you don't want to um, have a super sharp edge coming at you right there so here's a couple of pointers for a water starting when you're coming out hold the handle and then put the leash in front of your foot strap I you know because I have a waist leash so I want it out of the way when I'm kneeling on the board I'm kind of leaning on the wing for stability and then I tried to grab the second handle underneath right away so I can switch the hands easier to the back handle uh, then I stand up and then if uh, you know I, I put both my feet in the strap already when the board's well balanced that should be possible and then when the wind's light I tried to kind of extend my arms forward a little bit kind of almost bending at the waist a little bit and waiting for that wing to really fill up with air and then I yank on it kind of pump on it a couple of times hard and at the same time kind of hop up and down with my feet and that gives me that little pop up and uh, lets me take off even at pretty uh, light and light winds this is a 5.8 so it's a pretty powerful wing uh, for lighter wind days and Daniel was on a 4-5 Armstrong wing, wing, which was pretty amazing, but he was a little bit underpowered, but, you know, if you have good technique, you can use a smaller wing even in the lighter wind days. And uh, the cool thing about foiling is that even when there's almost no waves like today, really small waves, you're still able to kind of 
ride the waves and get speed and do fun stuff like jumps and whatever. So um, mix wing foiling just makes uh, an average day an exciting day. So that's why we love it. And then, you know, riding the wave with the wing depowered uh, really feels very surfy and, and uh, free. So wing foiling is just an awesome sport and it's just a great way to get into foiling. So if you haven't tried it, give it a go. And definitely if you have sharp trailing edges on any sharp edges on your foil, really, I highly recommend sanding them down just for safety and you'll be happy you did that. All right. Thanks for watching again. Give it a thumbs up if you think this tip is worthwhile and uh, see you next time. Please subscribe to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel. We'll see you on the water. Aloha.